Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Hi, my name is Drew Jubal Gaming. Blah, blah, blah. And welcome back to Minecraft, Hardcore Minecraft, Hardcore Minecraft Sunday, Hardcore Minecraft. Hi, it's nice to see you. Welcome back. If you're returning, if you're new, hi, my name is Drew Jubal Gaming. I play Minecraft and Skyrim. I stream here on Facebook at Drew Gaming, and I also post these streams on YouTube at Drew Gaming. So I appreciate you guys checking those out. If you're returning, I already said welcome, but welcome again. Dude, I appreciate you guys. And be sure to press that follow button, press that subscribe button. Because I would really appreciate it. And we have giveaways at every, uh, at every, what's the word for it? Highlight? No. Goal, I guess? Our next goal is at 1,000 follows on Facebook. And we are getting there closer and closer every day. And I appreciate you guys so much. Let's play some Minecraft. We still have World 12 just chilling, but I gotta remember what I was doing. I know we want to go into the big... No, no, Bison! I know we want to go into the big, uh... Into the big... Cave in this stream. We have enough iron to make iron stuff. Oh! How long have you been here? Why did you guys spawn here? Okay, well, looks like I'm... Look at these big smelly boys. Cheyenne, hi. Hello. It's nice to see you, Cheyenne, with the like. Thank you so much. Whoa. That one was... Whoa. That makes me uncomfy that these guys exist like this. Are they all coming after me right now? They can't see me. Oh. You firing at me? You're gonna shoot at me? I don't know if he's gonna shoot at me or not. No, by the... There's a cow. Bro, I'm gonna need you to please leave the facility. I... I am a, I am just here to build my house and live in peace. How's Bison? Bison's doing good. He's still in my room for the most part. Why are there so many of them? Uh, he's still locked in my room all day because he's been, he been peeing and stuff and we got a lot of stuff broken and, oh. But you know, what, what what can we do? Our our dryer conveniently broke too, so like we have to wait until Monday to fix that. So I can't even like test out if he's still going to pee on things, because uh yeah, because if, if he does go out and pee on things on things, then uh, we don't have anything to wash those things. It's uh, really just an unfortunate event of things right now. We have a lot of spruce wood now. Do I have any got gold, TNT, got food, lots of food. Huh. Where, where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to mess with that. Glad you're doing okay and could go live today. I appreciate that. I don't know what I, like, what was my issue yesterday, but I really just needed, like, a, like a mental health day. Honestly, and I appreciate that you guys are so understanding about it. Okay, let's build a bunch of sticks. I think I'm giving up on the idea that... Uh, the other side is going to be all oak, because it's hard to find oak in here. Uh, I had a cave. I had to cave and buy the house in Whiterun. My followers kept dying. It really do be like that. I personally like I think it's called Breeze Home that one and I like Breeze Home it's it's a classic but like I don't know if I'm a fan of Breeze Home uh, it's all good dude once it got past like two I got worried yeah I like I just don't know what was what was going on and on top of that editors uh, family came to town so I wanted to spend time with her family because they don't come to town very often 
So it was all just like, just a, just a big mess. It's so small. Yeah, Breeze Home. I know. I like, I like building. That's why I like building my own house. Because it, you can build it as big or as small or simple as you want. And that's why I'm excited to build my own house in the Skyrim play like playthrough because we can then make an aquarium and that's all I want. I just want an aquarium. We probably don't need that third one at the bottom, but we've got a lot of uh, of jungle wood conveniently placed over yonder. So it really doesn't matter. We can use all the wood we want. As long as we don't have like a crazy fire or something like that. I'm avoiding main quest lines because I'm definitely not leveled up enough to handle Mirak. And that is where it will be sending me. Oh, the, uh, the, the, what is that? That's not Dawn Guard. It's Dragonborn DLC. I personally, I really like the, the Dragonborn DLC. I, I like the Dawn Guard DLC a little bit more. Just because, like, I don't know, vampires and the followers in the Dongard DLC are really good. I didn't want to put that there. Yeah, the followers in the Dongard DLC are like super, super good. Bison, what are you doing, buddy? Put these here. Yo, Preston with the like, thank you so much. I appreciate you. What is up, man? Good to see you. But if a vampire stabs you, they can infect you. Yes, with uh, oh my gosh, what is it? Oh my gosh, the the original, not original, but like the the first kind of vampirism that you can get. I forgot what it's called. Yo, present with the share, dude. I appreciate you. Helps out tremendously, my guy. Thank you so much. I mean, we kind of don't need fencing along this wall, do we? We just need it along this side now. It's not the same. Oh, no, I didn't want it there. Here. Yes, Bison? Okay, we're making progress. We're making progress. We've kind of got it somewhat, somewhat covered. I should put dirt at the bottom of that. Perk of not doing survival mode. I have eight, uh, eight, eight K coins and nothing to do with them because I'm a mage. I feel that. I, I like, I like the hardcore mode or the survival mode. I really like it. I think it, it adds like a new. Why are these guys still outside my house? Leave. At least all my trees grew. Bison's upset too. What? What? Okay, we should go grab, cut down some trees. Quick, make sure that everything's fine up here. Because creepers like to spawn up here. I'll make sure that there's a light in the places that don't have I know bison I can hear I do I hear bison in the background yes you do yeah he's he's kind of upsetting spaghetti because he's been in my room for the past like forever I feel really bad because usually he's an open open area cat and he's kind of been stressing a little bit but uh, he he's been going through this kind of like a uh, urinary I don't know. It's not an infection because we tried to take him into the vet and we spent like 700 bucks trying to figure out what was wrong. Uh, Jason with the like, thanks so much. I appreciate you. Bro, so I did the main quest to get the orphanage chick and I'm still concerned about how the kid got that body. We don't question... Jason with, well, Jason with the share, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, we don't question how the Orientino boy got the... Got the body for the for the dark, for the sac. What is it called? 
the sacrament, the dark sacrament. Or how he got that book. You don't question how he got the book either. Because the book is kind of important too. Okay, right now, we're kind of building a path around just to have it. I'm also cutting down the trees that we have in here too. Because I want the path to go all the way around here. And then back around that way. That's the way I'm thinking about it. And then all the way through have bamboo because I like it. Did I? Did I? I did, however, take the human flesh and heart for alchemy purposes. Absolutely. If anybody is mean to me in any live stream or whatever, I just ignore them. Is that the best thing to do? I feel like yes. Yes. And it's also big on the streamer to keep track of his chat and really like make sure that toxicity isn't there you know or if that's the case i mean i can't imagine in which toxicity should be there but every every streamer has a different community but what i would say is yes ignore them if your streamer isn't paying attention to chat or whatever bring it up like hey this guy's being like mean or this guy's bullying and stuff like that and no streamer should have every streamer should have like a no bullying policy because honestly, that's the most important thing is to keep everybody safe in your chat. So yes, your best thing is to ignore them and probably either uh, point them out either in the live chat or message the streamer. Because if the streamer is good or understanding, they'll understand and they'll have mods to either block that person or warn them to not bully. That's that's how I see it, and that's why I pay attention. That's some of the reason why I pay attention to stream so uh, chat so often. Is because I like to make sure that everybody's, you know, being nice and respectful. Yes, but nobody should be mean or disrespectful in all these streams. True, true, absolutely, and that's why I have my mods here. My mods are very, very active. My mods uh, are very open to, with me too. So like, uh, if anything is going on and I miss it, my mods will definitely message me about it. Thanks, Drew. Yo, thank you for being here. Honestly. I mean, like, this should be this should be universal. I mean, it's kind of like every stream, every every creator should be like that. Have you explored the cave yet? No, nah, we're working on... I want to make sure that our trip back, you know, like, our way back up here is safe enough just in case we tar start getting overrun by stuff we can easily just run back. Because I really like this world, so I'm playing very carefully. Uh, I know it's kind of boring, but I'm playing like super, super careful just to make sure that I don't get exploded by a creeper or something because I like this world. It's my first one on the new update. That's probably why I like it so much. But uh, yeah, We're, we are going to explore it today though. See if that if the cave is as wondrous as uh, we think it is. Bro, you won't believe uh, how, what I've been through this week. Dude what you've been through you've been through a heck of a time this week i'm sorry to hear that dude these oak trees the ones that grow really really tall are so annoying i mean like they're not as annoying as like jungle trees jungle trees are a pain i very much dislike jungle trees they look cool but like getting rid of them i might as well just set them on fire because like seriously Nice hat, Drew. I like it. Yo, appreciate you. I wear this hat, like, all the time. Whoa! Hi, I'm from Thailand. Oh, welcome from Thailand. Hi, my name is Drew. It's nice to meet you. Welcome, dude. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thanks for the 24 stars. We can get Bison a treat, huh? Let's see if we can summon Bison up here. Yeah, there he is. You can, you can thank our friend from Thailand. Thank our friend from Thailand, Bison. He says thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Get down, buddy. Good kitty. I had to put up my bed like that, like in the background. So, like, I sleep on a couch now because I don't have enough room to have this bed up. And also keep Bison from peeing on it. So I have to have it up, way, up like that. I'm not going to say it on stream, but it was horrible. I'm so... Dude, I'm sorry to hear that. 
I hope it gets better. He heard the packaging. Seriously, you like how fast he like sprints? Oh, I love that cat. I love this cat so much. Okay, we can make... Ooh, we can make sticks. Sticks out of bamboo. We need these sticks. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll message you about it. Okay, well, we'll definitely talk about it after stream. Holy moly. Well, thank you so much, uh, Sarah. If I mispronounce your name at all, just let me know. My name is Boss. What up, Boss? Sorry to uh, wait so long to say your name, but I'll, thank you so much, Boss. I appreciate you. Boss? What a cool name. Wish, I, wish my name is Boss. Why are these guys still outside my house? Leave! I just want... You guys are so angry all the time. Ha! <laughs> We can't go up there. Okay, whatever. We'll just uh, we'll just keep building our way around here. Because I think I want to make this safe enough for me to explore. So what we're going to do is put a fence around, around these. Plus get enough bamboo for the liking. It's cold here in Northern Ireland, but not too cold outside. I feel that this has been like the warmest week ever for where I live, like in like North North America. And yeah, it's been super, super nice this whole week. And I'm really happy about it. I know that me and editor are planning on taking Max for a walk when she gets done with work. What is that noise? Anyway, planning on taking Max for a walk because he likes going for walks and stuff, but it's been so cold this year that we haven't been able to go on walks. But now that it's warm, we can. And it makes me happy. I feel like it'll make Max happy. It'll make Editor happy for sure. Gotta make this safe. Because we've been attacked by creepers coming like flying out of the out of the bamboo. And it's kinda it's kinda kinda scary. Will willingly? What? Oh hi! <laughs> I don't understand. Willingly. I'm confused. But yeah, it's been so cold this year. But it's better. It's getting better. It's getting better. It's getting better. I wonder if I could just. No, no I can't. There's so much bamboo. Oops! Didn't mean to do that. I ruined my path. No. What will I ever... Oh, there we go. Fixed. Oh, it's going to take forever. Why didn't I do this right away? Because we're kind of... I'm waiting for these, these guys to disappear down there. So that I can go get more... Uh, tree. More wood. Uh, I'm going down to the south of Ireland on Thursday because I have friends that live down there. Dude, heck yeah. Traveling is so much fun. I wish I could travel more often. I don't, I mean like, I don't have a lot of money to travel. I wonder how, how long does it take to go from North Ireland to South Ireland? Just out of curiosity. I, because I struggle to like comprehend sizes of other countries just because I'm so like used to how America is just huge. But I have no idea how big other countries are. You know, like, I, like, so, like, I figure out how long, like, how far away things are by how long it takes to get there. I feel like that's a northwestern thing or, like, a northern thing, Minnesotan thing. Oh, whoops. You know, so, like, oh, how far is that town? Oh, it's just, uh, just about 45 minutes northwesty here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Cringe, right, Bison? Jeez, there's so many. Ball blast. <laughs> God. I love that meme. Meow. Bison's meowing. Having a good time, I think. You having a good time? Yeah. I don't know if you heard that, that tiny little meow, but... 
Pleasant gets so lonely in here. And, like, I I want to spend as much time with him as possible in here, but sometimes I got to go to work and stuff, and he's got to be stuck in here all day because I don't think, I don't know if he's going to pee. About 45, 4 to 5 hours, depending on where I am, if you know what I mean. Okay, I feel that. I feel that. Mwah. Love you, Bison. Like, from where I live to my hometown, it's about three and a half hours of straight driving. Why are you still here? Um, yeah, like four and a half, three and a half to four hours of just straight driving. So, like, I can, I can visualize that pretty good. Yes, Bison? lit got a bunch of sticks now which means that we can build wait why can't i build a oh which means we can build more of these yeah your cat is so cute yes his name is bison we love him i love him to the end of this earth where'd he go oh it's going pee he's been struggling with that lately poor boy but I can't I can't afford to take him to a, to the vet again, because last time I had to spend my whole savings on taking him to the vet when he was first started doing this peeing thing, and I looked it up on the internet like what like that would be and how dangerous that would be for him, and as a male cat that's so dangerous like it's life threatening and I got super scared and I, you know, ran him to the animal hospital at like 10 p.m. that night and yeah I know I'm talking about you, where are you? Can you see him? Is he fixed? He is fixed. He is fixed. He's he's fixed. One more question for now, okay? If you're going to if you were going to come to Northern Ireland, what fast food would you like to try out? Pause. Pause. Let me look up Fast food in Northern Ireland. What? Okay, McDonald's. You've got five guys. Mickey's Deli. Sounds interesting. I can't even pronounce that word. Five guys. I love five guys. Five guys is so good. KFC. Ooh, KFC. You guys have KFC? KFC's everywhere. Tribal Burger. Interesting. Am I in the right place? Yeah, this is, that's Ireland. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Burger King, Five Guys, Five Guys. There's a lot of Burger Kings and McDonald's. I want to go to uh, Abra... Abracadabra. Cap, ab, Abracababra. Abracababra? That place. Yeah. Or Maryland's. Maryland's. We're going to Maryland's. That's the rule. That's it. That's the one we're going to. Either Abra Kababra <laughs> or Maryland's. If I'm mispronouncing any of these names, dude, I'm so sorry. I can't. I can't read. <laughs> Abra. I, 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 dude, my brain. Hello. Ooh, oh, that was me. Abra Kababra in Northern Ireland. Have I been there? No. Am I interested? Yes. Because I can't correctly pronounce anything, let alone a name that's like, I mean, it's it's supposed to be, it, it sounds like Abra Kadabra, right? But like, it's Abra Kababra. And that's pretty neat. And then Maryland. that's all of them it's not is that all of them? it is yes also why do you guys have so many five guys there's so many five guys I mean there's a lot of McDonald's but everywhere has a lot of McDonald's I think my the town that I live in right now has like four McDonald's so oh I love trying new things though like I absolutely love trying new foods and and stuff like that and since moving to this new city like six and a half seven months ago 
I have been me and editor have been going out to like these new places and trying out new types of foods. Dude, if I eat five guys, I like to go <laughs> I like go instacoma. All the grease just exhausts me. I feel that. I'm going to watch Frozen now. See you later. Alec out. Okay, was nice seeing you, dude. Thanks for coming in here, man. I appreciate you. And your questions, dude. I appreciate the questions. It keeps my, my chat moving. I really do appreciate it. I got to keep myself talking, and, and the, the questions and the, the comments really keep me keep me talking, which is good because I get so distracted by, like, everything around me. I grab all these. Look at all the bamboo we have. I wonder if bamboo, we can use bamboo as, like, a, like a fuel source. We gotta cut down all these. What time is it there? It is like two o'clock. Two p.m. Oh. or fourteen hundred military time. Working on it. We're working on it. Take care, everybody. Be happy. Be healthy. Absolutely, dude. Thanks, Alex. Thanks for coming in here. I do appreciate you, man. This is nice seeing you. So, I took over the TV to play Skyrim, so we fired up Runa's tablet, gave it to her llama headphones, and she's watching Home on Netflix. Dude, nice. Llama headphones? That sounds adorable. Llama headphones. That's great. If I could put this here. It's kind of ugly, but that's okay. Same, though. Alright. We got all the bamboo we could ever want. Let's start planting some more bamboo out here. I want everyone to know that there's a bamboo forest up here. An even bigger bamboo forest. Actually, I'm going to stay for a while. Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you so much. OMG, why does everyone keep asking if I'm sick? Well, are you sick? Oh, in Skyrim. <laughs> because you've con contracted something. You have to check your uh, active effects. And there should be something there that's red as an active effect that's uh probably like a lot of a lot of warriors get what's the word for it i forgot what it's called but like it's like rock joint rock joints really really huge with attacking getting attacked by wild animals and stuff like that so definitely check out for rock joint and a couple other infections like such as such as that. They'll also do that if you get food poisoning in the hardcore version of the game. We found that out in one of our game modes. I ate a raw carrot and for some reason got food poisoning from it. And I was not happy about it. I don't even care that that's like that. But yeah, that's that's why they say it to alert you like it's the game alerting you that there is an active effect against you And most of the time you don't even notice it because the active effect uh, prompt appears Afterwards I get asked that even if I don't have an infection That's weird. Uh That also happens if you end up being a vampire They'll ask you if you look if you're sick or feel uh, sickish because you look extremely pale or you'll also get asked that if... Are they still outside my house? Yes! Oh my god! Um, you'll also get asked that if you choose to be a werewolf. Uh, my local village... In my local village, we have a fish and chips restaurant called Nibblers. It's a little expensive, but it's good nonetheless. P.O. P.O. Thanks for liking the stream. I really appreciate you. Welcome, welcome. Hi. If I, I meant... If I mispronounce your name at all, just let me know. I want to make sure that I pronounce everybody's names correctly and uh, give you guys the respect that you guys deserve. 
So um, if there is, if I do mispronounce your name at all, I apologize and just let me know. Yo, Jeems, two in the house with 577 days followed. Whoa, thanks for that follow. Welcome to the Dewberry Patch. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. I Am I pronouncing your name correctly? Yo, Jeems, two with a like. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Welcome, welcome. How is you? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Gregory. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> I love the uh no I didn't mean to do that Oh I didn't mean to do that I watch a sticks ah. uh, I've got so many sticks now I wanted to make other things that weren't sticks You know the boy will watch Minecraft What's good, dude? Ah, yes. Stick Lord. As the Lord of Sticks, I will put the... <laughs> oh, look <whatever. laughs> Put that away. Give me back my, <laughs> my shield. <laughs> um, The bright side, you don't have to bring more sticks. Biggest brain. Now we have to go and cut down more trees, though. And are you still down here? Yes! Go away. Ugh, big stinky boys. I don't even, I don't have a bow or anything, so I don't know what to do. We're just going to go out this way and cut down more trees. On the bright side, you don't have to make more sticks, dude. Yeah, you're right. Okay, we're looking for trees that are going to obstruct my view of my beautiful bamboo forest. So this, get rid of this. We don't want this here. My beautiful bamboo forest will not be tarnished by simple trees and bushes. Now you just need more diamonds to cope with the amount of sticks you have. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Wish I had more diamonds. Wish I had any diamonds. I'd have to go into the to the uh, the cave for that, though. Is, is this despawning? Is it? Can leaves stay because of... Okay, we're just going to get rid of all of it. Okay, they are despawning. They're just taking forever, and I don't know why. See ya, Alec. Hope to see you on stream again. What? Oh, yeah! My mate's calling me. See you later, everybody. See you later, dude, Alex. I appreciate you, man. Uh, Jeeves, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to miss you. We're going to miss you. We'll see you next time. Where am I? We're gonna cutting down trees. Why are the leaves slowly disappearing? I think it's the bamboo. Cutting down trees, doodly dee. Cutting down trees, doodly doo. We're actually a lumberjack that just really likes bamboo. Okay, there are. Uh, James 2, always here for wholesome times. I appreciate that. Look at that, dude. We have to go in there eventually. For wholesome times all times are wholesome here at drew blue gaming is it wholesome if i if i say that i'm wholesome i don't think so i think i lose all like wholesomeness if i if i claim myself that i am wholesome that's kind of counteractive that's like i don't know that's like claiming that you're good at a game but like not being good at a game Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. I do that a lot. Is it already night time? Satana would like, thanks so much. I appreciate you. What is up? Okay, we're cutting down trees. Cutting down trees. Cutting down trees. Why is this tree so tall? Oh, yeah, stream loots. Stream loots exist too. We're doing that technically, but we've never had anybody actually donate through stream loots. Which is understandable, because I never ask for donations, but I do appreciate them. James 2 always here for the wholesome times. The wholesomeness. I think it's the viewers that make this whole thing wholesome, honestly. The community that we've made. I'm just, I, I'm just here. 
It's you guys that are terrific. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to share this, but going through dark times and watching your stream is helping me fight through it. Yo, dude, I, I'm so sorry that you're going through stuff. And uh, I've said this a bazillion times on stream, but I will continue to say it. If anybody needs anything, I try to be as active in my uh, chat and in my uh, my pages DMs as possible. So, like, if you ever need anybody, I try to keep, like, I, I try to make sure that my DMs are as active as possible, too. So, like, if you ever need anybody, I'm here. Dude, like, I, I appreciate you guys, and I can't imagine, I can't imagine my world without you guys. You know what I'm saying? I consider you a hero to me, no cap. Don't say that. Don't say that. That's so nice of you to say, but don't, you don't need to say that. I that was so nice, dude. That is the... <laughs> Chicken with the like. Thanks so much. I appreciate you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> okay, sorry. I don't think I don't think anybody's ever said that. You do. You don't need to say that. Oh, the skeleton's here. Where is the skeleton? Uh, a long time I was gone. I once tried to unalive myself and I got a notification to your stream. Dude, that... That is... Wow. Well, don't ever... Like... I think that there's so many things in this world that will be here. You'll just save me from doing something I'm about to regret. I... You don't... <laughs> Man, I'm just... I just play games and I want to talk to you guys. You guys are legit my friends and I love every single one of you. That's why I consider you to hear. <laughs> That's so nice. Um, honestly, I don't know what I would do without you guys. And you guys mean the absolute world to me. I can't, I can't express enough. How appreciative I am. But my DMs are always open. Honestly. If anybody needs anything. Thank you to... Thinking to myself. I haven't seen a dragon in a long time. Skyrim. I heard your thoughts. Here you go. Here's a ancient... Ancient dragon. Congratulations. Good luck. I want to wholeheartedly say thank you. And I hope you won't stop streaming. Dude, that is... I don't plan on stopping anytime soon, man. I I'm so I mean I'm I'm dedicated at this point. Dude, I I I love what I do here and I wouldn't be able to do what I do here without you guys, honestly. So I I really do appreciate you. I appreciate all of you, honestly. And I'm not gonna cry. It's been a long time since I've cried on stream, but dude, you you almost got me. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm good. Calm collected with my like a bazillion sticks in my inventory. We need to do something about the top of this house because it's kind of ugly. I don't know what to put up there. And also, we need we need more granite. <laughs> it's granite. Why did I decide that granite was the thing to build things with? Who knows? Not me. Actually, wait. I wanted to make I wanted to make stuff. Dude, I'm so like flustered right now. I can't even like can't even think. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, we need more. More! Okay. It's okay, carrying too much. It That's okay, I'm carrying too much to be able to run. <laughs> yeah, over being over-encumbered is the worst experience, especially in hardcore, when you're playing the hardcore uh, version of the game, because carrying too much might even kill you. <laughs> because you lose... Uh, For one, you're carrying too much, and then uh, on a second note, you are uh, losing stamina because the game is like whoa 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 what's this guy doing with that shovel could you imagine if like if mobs that were on fire could set your stuff on fire I know that mobs that are on fire can kill like
can uh, set you on fire, and I made that mistake that one time, doing like fire aspect. What's this guy doing? What are you doing down there? Okay, I'll go to bed. I kind of like what we built so far. Caring too much can be hard, understandably so. <laughs> ah, yes, the first world. First world, excuse me. Oh my goodness, I did not mean to jump there. The moment you first enchanted sword. Oh my god, yeah, the first world when I let that. Were you there on the first world, Cheyenne? Dude, that was so long ago. I have such a hard time figuring out who who was there at that point. Because, like, I didn't have a lot of people that weren't my family there. And you fought a bunch of zombies and died. Yeah, because I, I was like, I have this cool sword. And I'm invincible because I have enchanted armor. I'm going to go into this mine and die. <laughs> I was so sad. We had to say goodbye to all the animals. And now I make sure that if I do have an animal, it's like one or two. So we don't have too many. And uh, we also have something to uh, take care of the animal if if we were not to come back like that one world where i think it was like world like eight then boom we're in world two and then world two didn't take that long either world two i think lasted like two or three streams like it did not take a long time to die in that world and now we're here now we're to the point where like we're not dying like nearly as much as we were like for real we we whoa We've come a long way. And most of the time, it's, it's like, almost all the time, it's thanks to you guys telling me not to kill me. Not to, telling me how to not to die. But then some people will come in and be like, yo, make a bed in the nether. Hey, look, a creeper. Great. Love it. That's uh, always what I like to see. All right. Let's see if I can put this here yeah okay, here and here rules for not dying step one don't die biggest brain james two thank you so much man <laughs> rule number one on not on how to survive step one survive <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we still have more. It's kind of ugly that we don't have things underneath it. Like, we don't have things underneath the side here. But we will eventually. And put this here. Lit. I don't know if you'll get the reference, but I'll throw it out there. Yes, that's what dying means. Oh my gosh, wait. I think I recognize that. What is that from? Okay. So now we have this. Now we can start getting rid of this stuff here and go around. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to go around here. And go up through like the natural way that it has in order to do that we need to get rid of some of this dirt we'll just turn like right here and if anybody sees any uh granite let me know I swear the general store in White Run hits on me like, bro. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of swindlers in White Run. We're gonna go out like this.
Oh, you can see Bison. He'd rather lay up on the bed that's like upright up there. Oh, it's like a little, oh, we can get down here to fish. Oh, I love that. That's so nice. We can like build like a little pier here. Wait, give me a, give me a second, give me a second. Slabs. Why is the music so like calming right now? Hmm. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, did you watch No Way Home? Oh my gosh, I should have. I haven't yet, no. I should, though. You can build a huge dog thing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Alright, and then we just need one more here. And then now, yeah! This world's so pretty, dude. I love this world, dude. Okay. Hi, I just have a quick job to do. I have a plastic bottle that's set on my bed and it's annoying me, but I have to put in a recycling. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Good on you for recycling, by the way. Like, seriously? Okay, let's... I mean... We could build... One of these. Build this out. The, the music stopped and now I'm, now I'm nervous again. Out this way. Put this down. Nice. Okay. So now we just need like this. I see the northern lights on Morthal. Dude, I love like literally the way that they've I need one, two, three three. I love the way that they've built like the like the atmosphere in Skyrim. That's like most of the reason why I love it so much is that like there's such a great atmosphere. Neat. And then we can probably, let's make a, like a jungle plank path. All the way back here. Cut these down. Oh, didn't mean to do that one. Yeah. Now we can kind of like... aim just right so I, I get it on the block that I want it on. Okay. Hey all I'm back. Job complete. Good job dude. Here. 
good. That's kind of ugly, but whatever. Here, here, here. Got to aim right at the right spot. There. We're getting to the point where everything will be safe enough for us to build a, a path back up. Here, here. Whew. I thought you made that cave to the river. Yeah. I didn't make it. I, no, I didn't I didn't make it, no. Uh, here and here, here. Good stuff. Nice. Hopefully tomorrow they won't be at the at the bottom of my stairs again. So we can make the stairs safe. Are you still here? Yes. It's a good thing they're not smart enough to like, you know, go around. Okay, so now put that there. I must have gone through 30 or 50 Coke bottles in my time on this earth. And I'm only 26 years old. You've only gone through 26? I mean like I've gone through I've gone through a good amount I'm not even going to lie to you but I've always like I've always recycled Nick was talking talking car to me wait what huh okay so now we're good here what a nice river. Dude, this is such a pretty river. Okay, sorry. Now we can go up here. Build this out and break my things. Make an iron pick. Let's build this out just a little bit. Yeah. One out this way. Up, up. Actually, we want it a one over, so we'll build. This, this way. So that our stairs aren't, uh, aren't different. Like, aren't over each other. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. So now we can kind of... We go up here. Let's build another crafting table because we never have too many crafting tables. Build a couple stairs. Cut this down. I don't know why I'm so particular with my stairs, but oh well. Let's find out what's over here. This does have a really cool entrance. Like a really cool entrance. I like this. Because then it goes out this way. We can get up here. And then this is the way in. If you could go back to any update, what would it be? 1.17, 1.16 as an example. Personally, I think the game's only gotten better. So I would stick with 1.18. 1. I I like what the devs have been doing. And I really like it. So, I mean, like, I'm just getting into it. And I love the, adi the addition to a lot of things. Like the Warden, which adds some crazy scary things to the game. And the end and all of that great stuff. The game's only gotten better. We're only up here to figure out where every little nook and cranny goes. 
interesting. Dude, this is just the entrance. This is just the entrance. Gosh, this is so cool. Okay, I have enough. I don't. Well, eh. We could build a little, like, a little thing down here, too. That cave is nice and huge. I know. It's really big. And I look. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. Do you have what I'm looking for? Yes, you only have two, though. I needed three. Ah! Now the mobs spawn. Darkness over here. Okay. So now we are. We're sitting pretty decently. Me, I love the fact that we're playing this game together. Nick nods, knowing he only has the controller when I don't want to deal with something. <laughs> it really do kind of be like that. But that's okay. The game is meant to bring people together, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> is what I would like to think, anyway. Get rid of this. What I want to do is kind of like full on, like, encompass this. Got like the reading rainbow entrance. Enter. En intro stuck in my head. Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. Something book. Reading rainbow. Last question. If you could play any GTA game, what would you play? In case you were wondering, GTA means Grand Theft Auto. Okay, so Grand Theft Auto. I have a lot of memories with San Andreas. I liked it. I also was a little too young to be playing San Andreas, but I was playing it as a friend's house, so my parents didn't actually buy it for me, which is okay. Um, so San Andreas was the Grand Theft Auto game that I played a little bit. I technically never owned a Grand Theft Auto game. It was always my friends. And, uh... Yeah, so I never really got into that much of a Grand Theft Auto game. So, yeah, that's my that's my answer. I'm going to go with San Andreas. Dude. We need more Oh. I mean, we have we have a different kind of tree log now. I also don't have what I want. Here, here, here. Uh, the first and only GTA game I won, is, I own is GTA 5, when it went free on Epic Games. I feel that. Oh, I already grabbed this. Whoops. Um, I never. I think I played GTA 5 on my friend's account when it was first getting popular. That was the only time that I ever played GTA 5. I want to play GTA 5, but, like, I don't know how much, like, we could do on it. Not bad of a choice of GTA. Yeah, San Andreas was a fun time. GTA 5 is also a good time. I like the, the multiplayer kind of style of GTA 5 that I really like. And I want to play GTA 5 on stream, but I don't know what I would do. Like, I thought about doing GTA 5 uh, RP servers and stuff, and I've got a friend from one of my old jobs that... Uh, plays RP on Twitch and I thought about joining him but I didn't know how well that would go the story of GTA 5 is good I think I, I played through some of the storyline but I never actually finished it because I never owned the game I only play with my friends GTA RP is cool dude I, I like watching his content but I don't know what I would do you know what I mean like I don't I don't know like I played a lot of D&D in my time, so I can RP. I just don't know what I would... I would like to see you roleplay. Do you think so? <laughs> I 
I know GTA, I think, is on sale right now on Steam. And so is Red Dead, Red Dead 2. And I've been trying to talk Editor into playing Red Dead 2 with me. But I can't, I can't get her to play with me. It makes me sad. I got a message. Oh, I've been live for a whole hour. Holy moly. I like GTA RP for their funny moments and sudden events. True. Nick is playing Red Dead 2. Dude, I want to play Red Dead 2 just for like the online style of gameplay. I play a game called The Simpsons Tapped Out. Have you heard of that game? It's really good. I think... I think I have. I can see this Enderman chilling in the way off distance. I don't know if you can see his eyes when he looks over here. So I could... If I wasn't un wasn't aware... Like he's slightly darker than that. Yeah, there's his eyes sparkling in the darkness. Okay, we're getting out of there. Out of here. Because we're not messing with Enderman. Ouch. Do I have any food? So we're slowly making our way into the cave system. Which is what we want to do. We've made a lot of progress on making the trip down there safe. So now we can kind of focus on gradually oh there you go buddy uh gradually making are these guys still down here i think they've moved along which means we can actually leave to go get more wood there you go, buddy. he's already eaten i want to see you rp i don't even know what i would rp as <laughs> i feel like i would rp as like a like a like a hardcore like civilian so like i'd have a job and do things drive around kind of just be silly i would probably ask to rp with my old co-worker maybe ask to join his rp server simpsons tapped out i remember simpsons roid not roid rage whoa simpsons road rage was like my favorite game ever who's your favorite simpsons character mine is homer simpson oh your favorite character from the Simpsons. I'm gonna have to go with Bart because his character has kind of changed a little bit and I also like the catchphrase eat my shorts. That's hilarious. Uh, if I had to pick anybody else, I want to say my favorite character would be the scientist dude. <laughs> I can't even do his voice. I would imagine this, I would imagine to see you RP as a total opposite of you. Just be like super mean and just like a bl like belligerent or something i don't know i don't know what i would rp as but i mean like if you guys are interested i might make a vote thing on facebook i don't have a lot of extra time outside of like regular streaming hours and uh working out with editor and stuff like that because like with my full-time job and stuff i'm putting in a lot of hours to pay my bills and stuff i am mexican people i am love soviet union Oh. oh. Okay. Uh. Marvel or DC? Oh. Like, who would win, or who, which one's my favorite? Because I think Marvel's been great with movies, but DC is just full of gods, which is pretty neato. Like Superman and Wonder Woman and stuff. But Marvel's been really good at uh, making movies and stuff. What even is down here? Hello? Is anyone here? <gasps> There's a lot of... Uh... Oh my gosh, we might be able to finish the house off of this. Good thing I have a bunch of sticks in my inventory. I've had a follower through this entire game and now I'm running in blind. Where did you get your follower? Where did I get my follower? Uh, I know we get we get Stag from, I think his name is like Carstag or something. No, not Carstag. Oh my god. What's his name? Stag. I think we named him Stag though. And we, he is in Morthal, I'm pretty sure. Nice. 
I think it's in Morthal. He's he's in one of the inns in Morthal. That one of the first inns that you run into. Why is that still there? It bothers me that that still exists. This is floating. This place is so cool. You can see all the bamboo that I got growing over there. Eventually, we'll have bamboo all the way around. It's so cool. And we're just getting to like the inside of the of the cave. Kind of light this area up a little bit. There you are. Now we can make our way out here. Hello, what's up, Gabriel? Good to see you. Uh, my mom cooked a chicken fillet for me for dinner tonight. I poured gravy over the top to make it taste nice. Hey, yo. Gabriel with the like, thank you so much. I appreciate you. What's up? There was a zombie chasing me. Gabriel with the share, too. Thank you. That's so nice of you. Where did the zombie go? Okay, I guess not. Thank you for that share, though. I really do appreciate it. Okay, we're going to trap ourselves in here for a little while because we want all of this granite. Oh my gosh, yes. All the granite we could ever want. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Kind of tired. I've been uh, working a lot at the new job, but uh, just kind of here. How are you? I hope you're doing great. Got to stay hydrated. I've been staying super, super hydrated these last couple days. So I hope you guys are as well. Nice. Oof. But we found all the granite we could ever want right here, which is awesome. I'm going to grab a stack of 64 and hope that that's enough. I didn't think I was going to use all, all of this iron pick on granite. And then I never thought that I would be so excited about granite, but oh well. So we had to trap ourselves in there just to make sure that nothing trapped us kept us in the corner okay now we go all the way up back up to the house because I hope that we can finish the whole you can run so quickly okay uh, granite slabs actually wait no it's not granite slabs so we want to make polished granite and then it's out of Polished granite slabs. Thirty-six. Yeah, we found I was hoping that we'd find like a pocket of granite like that. How's everybody doing today though? I hope you guys are doing terrific. Like honestly, honestly. Oops, didn't mean to put that there. Whatever. As long as the creeper doesn't get in here, this should be fine. Because we are going to be the only ones that know that this isn't uh, completely done. Place this here. It kind of bothers me that I'm not using full ones, but okay. I get cold coffees on a hot day here in Northern Ireland. But on a hot day, I get hot coffees. On cold, I get cold coffees on a hot day. But on a hot day, I get... Alex, wait, does that just mean you get both kind of coffees, no matter what day it is? <laughs> or am I reading that wrong? Like, you get cold coffees on cold days, but then on hot days, you get hot coffees? In which, like, I mean, me and editor will go to Starbucks. My favorite Starbucks drink in... I mean, I'm pretty basic, so, like, I drink uh, iced white chocolate mochas because they're my favorite, and they taste the least like coffee. Oops, I'm going to grab that. Neato. Yeah, we're going to have enough to finish it, which is going to be nice. 
Because then we can start actually furnishing the place. I don't know with what yet, but... Cause like I always get like iced coffees. I, I don't know why. This is how I like them. So now we need one, two, and then a bunch over here. Which I think 12 is not gonna cut it, but like it's gonna be really close. Yeah, so we need like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need eight more. We only have one more polished. We have one granite in here too. Which we have a bunch of granite down there waiting for us. So let's go grab like 10 more granite and should be fine. Well, 12. 12 more granite. And also we need to go cut down more trees. You're fine, mate. I didn't explain it. It just get coffees on the opposite of the temperature. Hot day, cold coffee. Ooh, okay, now I understand. I I feel like that would be the probably the best way to get coffee. Like if it's really hot, bring down your, your core temperature a little bit with that cold coffee. I feel like that's probably the best way to do it, man. I mean, it's pretty neat. I always get cold coffees no matter what. Because I'm drinking it for the caffeine. And if I get a cold coffee, I can drink it faster. And it's nighttime already. Do I have any more? No, I don't. Because we gotta light up this stuff down here. I love how fast we can go up this. Here. And then we can make 12. Nice. And now it's done. Put all these in here. We can go to bed. I didn't explain it properly to you. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. Sometimes I just can't read. It's still raining. Okay, it's not raining anymore. I just have to yell about it and then it'll stop, I guess. 64. Let's build fencing. 48 fencing. Alex would like to so much. I appreciate you. What is up? Thank you so much, man. Now we can finish the fencing out here. I don't know if we'll have enough... Uh, enough wood because I decided to make this out of oak rather than uh, jungle which is fine or whatever it just takes me longer and then it'll be harder to find oak when I'm in the middle of a jungle but that's why we started growing all the different kinds of trees out here it's like we have oak jungle birch not birch what is this spruce and then uh, the other one that I don't know the name of. I don't know why I started making those, but. Because, like, I don't ever have a reason to have that. That one. We could have kept all the sticks. I mean, we do have still a bunch of sticks. I don't know if I want to build a. They just went up there. They went up to my... Bruh. I'm not going to pretend like I didn't just see that. The, the pillagers went from down there and just climbed up the mountain. And now they're... Now they're up here somewhere. I can't hear them though. Usually they're loud. Either way. I'm going to watch my DVD now. I should be in the next one. See you later, everybody. Take care. Be happy and healthy. Alex out. Yo, see you later, man. Was nice seeing you, dude. Okay. Read a book.
ba, ba, ba. something rainbow okay something in a book fence oak fencing nice hello doggo excuse me doggo making progress i do i'm starting to dislike the fact that uh oh, whoops yeah you see him up there uh the fact that we made this an opposite color um fencing Down, up, down, down, down. We're almost to the bottom though, so it doesn't really matter. It's taking so much wood though, but that's why we live in the forest, around the forest, or something forest. Doodly dee, do doodly do, having a forest time. I can't imagine like if we like blew up and like. I don't know. You, you know how, like, Jacksepticeye, like, people make songs out of him? Could you imagine? Dude, we're almost, like, we're almost done. Nice. Down, down, down. Maybe we'll just finish one side. No! No! Nice. And we have this oaks that are growing really weirdly. These guys are growing surprisingly normal. Those are grown, and then these guys are grown too. We need dark oak though. See? Look, he just made his way up there. What's he doing? He's walking around. He got lost from his group, and now he's just like jumping around. Jump around. Jump, jump. Sorry. Okay, uh, we need... We need more jungle, for sure. I don't have... Yes, I do. We need more jungle, and we need more... Of the other stuff. But I don't want to rely on our... Special... Amounts, just yet. I don't want to cut down the trees that we... Grew. Those are for emergencies only, especially when we have these extra trees chilling. Use a flint and steel and light them on fire? What? Light them on fire? My trees? Not my trees. I don't want to burn my house down either by some, like, crazy account. Oof. Cutting down trees, doodly dee, that's what we do, doodly do. What's in the water, doodly dee. There's like an underground cave over there. No, the pillager with the banner. Oh. I mean, we could, but like, that's okay. He's not bothering us, and his existence is just slightly bothering me. So, I mean, he could, he could still exist. We choose peace. We're a peaceful uh, uh, village of one here. Especially since we have the most... Like, dude, this spot. I, I love this spot. I love this spot so much. Okay, now we have a bunch of this. And that's not what we needed. We need, we need coal. That's what we need. Which I think we have some right here. Yeah, we do. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Just gotta make sure I don't get like attacked, sneak attacked. There we go. Cover up the holes that are in the ceiling, maybe. And maybe like build doors.
It's actually a good idea. Building doors around. Yeah. And a Draugr almost gave me a heart attack. Dude, that happens to me all the time. Draugr are jump scare. Jump scary, dude. Put that there. I could hear all the different, like, mobs. Hello. Ooh. Hello. I j I'm just here to light, light the way. What the? Ow. Oh no. The villager. No, the villager. Don't come out here, villager. Please. No. No. Okay, we're just gonna kill him. I'm sorry, brother. I wanted to keep you there, but you were surrounded with other guys that were going to attack me. And you didn't give me what I wanted. What's up, dude? Okay. If we can make sure that all of this is lit up, that's going to be our number one like kind of priority. It's making sure that it's all lit up and safe. We can keep this lit up. Keep the monsters from almost coming out here. I wanted to make sure that the... What? Oh, yeah. I wanted to make sure that the monsters don't really spawn close to the outside. What's up, brother? Or other dude? Hey, other guy. Oh, you are a problem. Ooh, that was close. Not close enough. Haha. <laughs> Do we have any more? No, because I got rid of all the... <sighs> I'm so silly. You can put a zombie villager in a boat, then put a roof over him and he won't burn. Right? I just like... I don't know, I panicked and ran out and he followed me. That's okay. We, I mean, it's not like we need a villager. It would be nice to have a villager just kind of like trapped in here with us. We could have like, we could make this like a little room for him or something. That would have been nice. But that's okay. I don't even know how it, I would have. We would have had to make a house for him down there. And on top of that, we'd have to get lucky and find blaze rods. And we never, we're never. We're never lucky enough to find blaze rods and stuff. Not right away. Anyway. We need one more string. I wonder if this guy followed me down here. Doesn't sound like it. I wonder if I should just like... Ooh. Yeah, put that there for now. Kind of. Oops. That on that side. Here, here, here. Yeah. Door. Didn't mean to put that one there. I don't know if I'm making an area that's going to trap me, but now we know that monsters can't come out this way, right? Should make more doors. Just 
just like this. Yeah. So then now we can make some stairs. Just like that. Yeah. Put some stairs out here. That's not how I wanted that stair to be. Here. And then get rid of this. Put this here. Just like that. I don't know if I like that. Have this facing this way. Yeah. Hmm. I need some slabs. I wonder why I would build. Well, now it's kind of ugly, but that's okay. Same. Need more slabs! The great thing about being around a jungle is that we have endless amounts of wood to make slabs out of. Oh man, dude, I'm so I'm so not good at making making stairs. You know what? We're just going to do this. Bro. Here. Just like that. So then we can come up, go up and be fine. Okay, Nick actually wanted to clean her cut, so she hates us both. What? Wait, I must have missed a Runa somehow cut her foot. Oh, but Nick decided to clean it. <sighs> well, I mean, it's good to clean the cuts, right? I don't know a lot of things about medical stuff, but I'm going to assume that it's good to clean it. this do this cut this place it with this get rid of this whoops didn't mean to do that wonder if he's gonna knock down the door Take that, zombie. Oh my gosh. actual food on me. Better go eat. I need one more uh what's it called? One more string. I just don't know where we're gonna find it. And put 
our bed over here. Grab that. For that, we wanted... Oh, yeah, the food in here. Water breathing, we don't need. Golden carrots, we don't need. But we could use this. Now back to the adventure. All my stuff is taking damage. Do 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 -de 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 -do do. I dislike how all the zombies started attacking me. But that's okay, doodly -de -de. Hello. I'm just here the light the path. That's all I would like to do. I would like to spread Meridia's light around this whole area. And I would greatly appreciate it if you let me do so. It's so dark over here. so much easier when nothing's spawning which is great for me not to mention we're both terrified to hold her legs still when you read my message you'll understand okay whoa it's like random holes in the wall What's up, buddy? Hey, yo, you are equipped to fight me. Did you drop anything cool? No. Okay. So many zombies in here. Hello? Zombie Central, I would like to know why there's so many zombies in here. Okay. Ow. And that is why we put the door here. Kind of looks like a hobbit hole, but I promise it is the death place. But like we're making progress, we've got a lot of this place on the side lit up, and now we just need to work on going down. Wow, there is so many like pieces, like water. There's so much water because that's a big pool of water up there that I'm just gonna leave natural because I think it looks really pretty. Uh, there's weird like an oasis down there very interesting this looks cool all lit up okay I should probably go to bed I still haven't lit up this area yet that's fine Bed. Okay. Now we're back at it. We still haven't made like a farm yet, which we could start doing. Whoa. Where are you at? There you are. Hey, buddy, I need you. Sorry. Oh. 
Whoa, I don't know where that zombie came from. Probably this hole here. This is an interesting little area. Oh, whoops. Make sure the zombies can't come through that way. Uh, is there an entrance down here that I need to be worried about? The answer is yes. There is an entrance here. Because, like, I'm kind of making sure that outside, no matter how I get outside, is safe, no matter what. But I want to fish. That's not a bow. I should make a bow. I should be responsible and make a bow. But we're making a fishing rod instead. Because <laughs> I want to fish. I want to fish for XP. I want to fish for other things. And plus, I want to try out this new area. So safe. So serene. I love it. I gotta figure out what what about like the new update here that like I don't know about you know what I mean like what like the warden where do you find the warden because I know that you if the warden spawns and catches you you're dead especially me because I don't have any like crazy ooh, fishy business uh, I don't have any like crazy enchanted armor and people with actual armor also struggle against the warden on hardcore so like i don't know anything about the warden so i gotta figure out where he resides how to make sure that they can't hear me because i know that there's things that shriek i think they're called shriekers warden isn't in this update okay thank goodness what update is it is that like the next one next one how did people how do people have like how do people have videos on the warden already I wonder when that update's coming out. Dude, I love fishing. It's in 1.19. Okay, do you know when that's coming out? I'm just curious. Dude, I love fishing. Fishing is so calming in like every game that I play. Like ESO, I'll fish all the time in like my free time and stuff. Snapchat, snapshots. You can can play. Maybe be out this year. I think. Ooh, interesting. This is such a pretty like little river. I love it. probably shouldn't overfish here so I'm just gonna leave it at this for now maybe build a bridge over there over here probably over there just to get across because I want to find a wild like axolotl not that wild axolotl wild uh what are they what are the fish the what are the cats called that you can't tame in the jungle we had that one last time Okay, we want just a regular chest. Actually, make it a barrel. Fishing barrel. That's not how I wanted the barrel to look. Jeez, how deep does this water go? Whoa. Good thing that there's nothing in the water that can be, like, horribly... Ocelots. There it is. Thank you. Uh, I remember we had ocelots in, like, World 12 or something. And... I want to be upright. No! I end up breaking my... No! I swear. There we go. Put all the raw fish in here. Because I remember reading somewhere that you can make them tameable. 
Like, you can tame them. And make the, like, breed them into cats. But I don't remember how to do that. Okay, so we need more coal, so that's what we're going to do. If we get blown up by a creeper, I'm going to cry. This cave is full of monsters. And, like, if we want to make sure that we survive, we have to cover up the... cover up the uh, the cave as soon as possible do I have no I don't like that guy look at him out there with enchanted items okay I know I want to I got a set where did I get a saddle from That's interesting. I mean, like, that's really cool. Now we can find a horse and tame it. I don't remember getting a saddle. That's interesting. I think there's a plains biome out that way that we can find horses at. But I want to make, a like, a stable, if that's the case. It's really interesting that I just randomly found a, like, saddle in my inventory. Does anybody remember where that saddle came from? Because I have no idea where that saddle came from. Let's look at the map. I want to see the map again. Okay, so out that way, there's that one village, but up north is the village that I like. And we haven't even explored out, out west before. We can probably go out west for a little while. Do we have a lot of food? We've got two food and a bunch of apples. Let's grab one more. Oh, I completed two quests in one. Hey, yo. Nice, dude. Got a little bit of steak. And that's it. So we're going to take our bed with us. Put our bed of our inventory slots. Should have left my fishing rod down where we fish. Two quests in one. Nice, dude. Nice. Going on an adventure. Doodly dee. Knocking down trees. Attempting to knock down trees. Doodly do. I need a new one of these anyway. Do, do, do. Doodly do. Okay. Dude. Uh. I remember, okay, so there's a specific video that... Panda? Panda? <gasps> Panda! Panda. I should have grabbed the... Uh... Okay, sorry. I had no idea there was a panda there. I love that. I knew we'd find pandas eventually, but anyway. Whoa. The biomes in this game are so pretty. There's a whole birch forest down there, which is really interesting, but we want to go this way because that's where our map leads. Do not fall off the cliff, Drew, please, for the love of the dog that you left at home do not fall off the cliff i think you take less damage if you uh fall on leaves and stuff so okay night time night time please let me go to sleep can't believe we found that we found a panda. I love pandas. I like how Baz is just taking a nap. You can see him just up here, like moving around. Can't believe we found a panda, dude. That makes me so happy. I was like, I was starting to worry that like we weren't ever going to find the pandas, but we did. We did find the pandas. There's clay over here. 
Okay. Dark oak. Oak trees. What is that? Flowering. Interesting. I don't know what that what that block is. Joseph with the like, thank you so much. I appreciate you. What is up? Thanks, dude. I appreciate you. What is up? You know, we out here playing Minecraft, you know. Crafting. Mining. I don't know where my brain is today, dude. I'm I'm like half asleep. I should be more awake right now, but uh, it takes too much energy to be awake. Check out here, dude. This whole place is so cool. I love it. Exploring this new like I feel like it would have been I would have been acting like this even if this was like regular world in the old one. Num num num. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Faces past and I'm homebound. Hey yo. Feed a panda it gives hearts, feed it again, and watch it sit and eat bamboo. Oh, we have to feed it twice? To watch it sit and eat bamboo? Okay. Well, thanks for the 100 stars, dude. I really do appreciate that. Let's do a push-up real quick. Oh, we got Bison's attention. He thinks we're giving him treats. Huh. Uh. One. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Ouch. Having these litter boxes in my room, Bison tracks litter all over the place. So I have to, sh I have to vacuum. That hurt. Litter board. Yo, Nintendo Ghost rolling away with this victory. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. We will definitely go feed the panda after we uh, finish finding everything that there is to find. Look at the... Look at that! Oh my god, I love this game! <laughs> okay, sorry. I, I just love how it's randomly generated. So, like, everything is just so beautiful. Oh, I'm a, I'm a sucker for this, dude. Gotta eat. Place down there. Okay. Ah. We're exploring. We're finding weird trees that have flowers. But it just appears to be oak. Break it to find out. It is oak. I don't know why it's growing like that. What was that? Oh! Jeez. Yeah, no, I'm not going to mess with him. Those mean that there's a lush cave underneath it. A lush cave? What's a lush cave? Lush cave. Ooh. Or like those caves that are that look cool that's art in, in our big cave. Is that what that is? Chickens. We don't need that. We could go back and find out what's going on here. A cave with glow berries. Did we figure out what glow berries do? I remember in the last update there was glow berries and I got a couple. But I didn't know what to do with them. Did we find out what, what they do? Do they do anything now? Because I couldn't eat them and I couldn't... I couldn't plant them either. So I was just like curious what to do with them. They glow, you eat them as far as I know. Oh, okay, okay. So maybe they, they added that you can eat them now? Interesting. I love how they're adding so many new things to this game in every update. Like, I love the hard work that the devs are doing to this game. 
Mojang. What was that noise? My parrot! Dude, I thought I lost you! I know! Okay. How did we... What? What is my parrot doing up here? Oh my god, that was like two episodes ago. You can right click them to pluck them and don't need to break the vine. Oh, okay. So we don't need to break the vine. Ooh, more of these. Now we can get rid of the gravel in my inventory. Yes, Bison? What time? It's only three. You don't need to be making your angry, hungry noises right now. Because you already ate today. And you eat later. You always eat later. You know your food schedule. You're a smart cat. I know. I'm just hungry boy. I must be starving you. I know. You're actually you're on a diet so that you can clean yourself. Because I think that's why he was like acting out and peeing on clothes and stuff and bedding. Because he couldn't uh, clean himself. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're just a kitty. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're also looking for a horse. Hey look, convenient horses. I don't have any hay on me. But I do have apples. But I don't have any gold to make them golden apples. But I don't think that's how that works. No, we get on the horse to tame it. <gasps> Look at paint! I love paints. Have you tried using a warm, wet cotton ball to clean him? Just make sure he's in the box when you do it. We used to... I can't have anything in my inventory in my hand. We... So... Uh... Yeah, we do have a saddle. Um... We have cleaned him a couple times with like warm paper towels and it's gotten easier and like he's lost a little weight over the last couple weeks. Nice. So now we get off, back on, put this in my hand. Ayo! This will be easier. Where's my parrot? Where's my parrot? My parrot on my shoulder. I don't know. I'm going to hope that he's on my shoulder. Think he's on my shoulder? I can hear him, so I'm gonna assume that he's on my shoulder and it should be fine. Uh, did you say Markarth or Morthal for Stag? It's the, oh my gosh. I always mix them up. So I think Markarth is the one with the, it's the stone city. The, ci the city that everyone says was made by Dwemer. On the far west side of Skyrim. Oh. How do I get on again? How do I get on again? Oh. Wrong way. Come on. I know, buddy, I know. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's the... It's the Stone City. And he's in the first, uh, the first tavern to the left. Interesting. I do have a bunch of cobble. Make 
sure my horse doesn't jump in the lava. Okay. Where is the... There it is. Fortune 3 pick. Fire charges. Sweeping edge. Unbreaking. We could take that. Obsidian. We could always use more obsidian. Take that too. Ah. Uh-oh. We'll go to sleep. Here. We gotta go find my horse afterwards. And fun fact, if you put a saddle on a pig and lead it with a carrot, uh, on a stick, fall to its death and get an achievements when pigs fly. Yeah, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna die from that though. That would be unfortunate. All right, yo, horsey, I'm gonna need you to not do that. Okay. This horse is kind of slow. I don't know how to sprint. That sounds kind of gruesome. Yeah. You do what you got to do for the achievements. Dang, there's a lot of nice looking horses over here. Well, that's pretty. I like the one I have, though. If we found, like, a pure orange one, I would cry. Okay. Up the hill. Up the hill. Right, sorry, I mean gruesome fact. <laughs> and a big hole. Big hole in the ground. Have to go around that. Why is it? Stop that. Yeah, I know you don't I know you wanna get out, but like I gotta make sure you won't pee on everything first. So I have to like test you. I'm testing you next week to see if you can go a whole night without peeing on, on like a shirt. I don't think you or the pig has to die. It just has to take fall damage. Okay. What is going on? Bison. It's okay, buddy. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Darn. Come on up. Up. I went back the wrong way. And this way. Come on. Yeah. My parrot. Okay. If I can lead my parrot back to my house, that would be really nice. Ooh, a big open prairie. That's nice. Stop. I kind of like how, like, the water does this on the map. I know, I know. I know. You're just so bored. I know, buddy. can't let you out till I know that you won't pee on all my things. More importantly, all of the people who owns this house's things. Turn around this way. Because you already peed all over there like bed. That's why we have to do this. Up, up, yeah. I don't have a leash. Which is kind of a bummer. Grab all that. We have to manage to get our horse. What? I know. To get our horse all the way across the water here. Really? You don't say, Bison. Well, there's the village that I like. I like that village. What are you doing? Huh? Okay. Gotta figure out how I want to get there. So we have to get back on that land. So I feel like the easiest way would just be probably we can go back this way, jump over, and go around. Oh, 
horse. Stop that. What's over there? Interesting. I grabbed like the slowest horse. Horse. buddy there we go come on there's my parrot go all the way around oh that would have been unfortunate all the way around pay a visit to our favorite uh, village Hello, village. It is nice to see you again. I'm just going to ride my horse through your whole village here. Excuse me. Glad to see the woodworker still doing, doing his job. Really? This horse is, has a temper, man. Getting close to the house again. I gotta figure out how I'm going to store my horse. Big hole in the ground. Really? Giant forest, birch forest. We can just take this back to the house. Look at all those bamboos. Look at our house. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And I think we're land connected. Yeah, we are. Having a horse is going to be make this so much easier. I just gotta figure out where I want to put it. Hi, buddy. It's like laying on my foot right now. Okay. Let's make a bunch of these. And. Oops. Here, here. I'm gonna make sure that he's comfortable. Just as like a like a short fix. Grab the horse. Nice. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. You need water. I can make a bucket for you out here. Make a cauldron of water. Make a bucket. I can make a cauldron. Make it like a trough. Yeah, I know, buddy. What? What? Grab some water. I like I like how we have our carrot our carrot our parrot. 
Now he can have a cauldron of water. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And let's make a Yes, Bison. Can I help you? Can I help you? We don't go kitty. I didn't realize I'm wearing all gray. Okay, up to the house. Our horse has water. Our parrot's here. I don't know what our parrot's trying to do. Oh, sit next to me there. Where's my bed? Oh, yeah. Oh, whoops. And now we can sit on my bed. Now we have our pet dog and our pet uh, parrot. And then we have a horse. Yeah. Okay. We should end this one here. Thank you guys so much for all the likes, the shares, the donations, the follows, and everything. I appreciate you. Bison appreciates you. Bison got a treat today, didn't you, buddy? Yeah. Thank you guys so much again. Uh... If all goes to plan, I should probably see you guys next weekend. Uh, sorry for missing Skyrim this weekend. Uh, I'll see if I can maybe get on in a little bit to play some Skyrim. But we'll see. We'll see. Make sure to go to the, the YouTube with Drew Blue Gaming. Give that a subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. And do you want to do the outro? No. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much. Actually, wait. Check out, check out the merch. Merch in the description down here. All the art you see there is made by editor yourself. We really appreciate you guys. Okay, that's about it. <gasps> Bye. <laughs>